All right, so today we're going to be doing going over the activity that you should have completed September 17th. Uh, this is going to be pages 269 to 270 from that orange book. And this is going to be about area of triangles and parallelograms. So we'll be working with this example first on this page. It says Karen drew a design shown to the right. How can she break this apart in order to find its area, because this is not a shape we would normally be able to find the area of. Uh, Karen can break the design into two parallelograms and one triangle as shown below. And you can't see it too clearly, but I'll, let me see if I can make that. They have an orange line going from here to here, but let me make that a bit more clear. There's that orange line. So they drew one parallelogram, two parallelograms, and then a triangle down below. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what we've got here and see if we can't work out the rest of this problem, the rest of this page. Uh, the first question, it says label the dimensions of the triangle and one of the parallelograms from Karen's design. Okay, so we're going to have to take a closer look here and we'll see what is the height of this triangle because that's the first piece right here this orange line. So how tall is this height of this triangle? Well, it looks like from the very top to the very bottom, it looks like we have two complete squares. So the height of this triangle is going to be two. For the base, that one's pretty easy to see. It tells us right here, it's gonna be four inches. For one of our parallelograms, we're going to look for this dotted line right here. So we'll kind of look, find our matching shape, and find our matching side. It looks like it's an imaginary line. So we have to make it right here. So let's see how wide that is. One, two. It looks like it's going to be two units apart. One, two. So we'll put that there, but then we need the height from the very top of the parallelogram to the very bottom of that parallelogram, but we're only really looking at one side. So let me grab a different color marker. We'll go with blue. From the very top right here to the very bottom right here. And let's count and see how long that piece is. One, two, three, four, five. The height of one of those parallelograms, just one, is going to be five units. Now, number two, it goes ahead and asks us, what is the area of one of the parallelograms? Use the formula, area of a parallelogram is base times height. So the base is going to be five, the height is going to be two. Five times two, you ought to be able to do that one in your head. So we've got five times two, my area equals 10. For number three, it says, what is the area of the triangle? And it tells us to use the formula, area of a triangle equals one half times the base times the height. Or you could do base times height divided by two. Those will give us the same answer. So we will do base times height, four times two, which equals eight, but then divide it by two or multiply it by one half to get our real answer, area equals four. And then it asks, what is the area of the entire design? Well, the entire design, if we look back at it, has two of those parallelograms and it has one of those triangles. So we have to add two of these and one of these. So we will do 10 plus 10 plus four, two parallelograms and one triangle. And my answer equals 24. Now, when it says explain how you know, you should explain something along the lines of you found the area of each piece and added them together. Uh, I will leave the wor exact wording up to you, but I do need an explanation for number four. Don't just give me the answer for this one. 
even if you showed your work, I need to know where those tens and that four came from and why you decided to add them together. On the back side, we have four more problems. Now, for these four problems, they're going to be solved about the same way as that last problem, where you're going to have to dissect or break apart different problems. So for number five, it says Brie and Lisa want to find the area of this figure. They agree to separate the figure as shown, but they disagree on what to do next. Lisa wants to add the areas of all four shapes in the figure. Brian wants to find the sum of the areas of one parallelogram and one triangle, and then multiply them by two. Who is correct? So again, it's hard to see. They did draw a line cutting this shape right here. So uh, Lisa says you need to find the area of shape number one, shape number two, shape number three, shape number four, and then you need to add them together. Brie says that you can just go ahead and add the area of one parallelogram and one triangle and then just double it. Brie seems to think that this parallelogram and this parallelogram are the same size and this triangle and this triangle are the same size. So who is correct, Lisa or Brie? So I'm going to spoil it and tell you that Lisa is correct. Brie is definitely not correct. If you were to do things Brie, Brie's way and found the area of only one parallelogram and one triangle and then doubled the area, you would not be correct. What I need you to figure out is why. Why is Brie not correct or why is Lisa correct? Moving on to number six, it says draw each parallelogram and each triangle that you need to find the area of problem five. So sorry, my drawing from the other page is kind of bleeding through. That's what I get for using pens. Uh, but it then wants you to label the dimensions of each figure. What it means by that is it means it wants you to do this. It wants you to just draw the loose shapes off to the side, and it wants you to label what the base and height are. This helps with visualizing what exactly you need to do. So if I look back at that problem, I can see that one of my shapes, it looks like I have four different shapes that are not the same size. So I'll just go ahead and draw shape one. It's going to look kind of like this. And you don't have to be a visual arts major to do this. It doesn't have to be super spectacular or super accurate. But here's one. Let me go ahead and draw a dotted line so I can represent my height. Uh, we've got this triangle right here. So let me draw that. That's a little bit too big, but it does it does its job. We then have a smaller and more slanted parallelogram down here. And we also have a smaller triangle down here. Okay, so now I can go ahead and label my base and my height. My base, it looks like my base for both of these parallelograms will be the same. They're both going to have a base of one, two, three, four units. So my base is going to be four units. The problem is my height. My height is going to be different for each one. And let me draw just a dotted line going straight down so I know that I'm finding the real height. All right, so that's my base, but now I need my height. My height for each of these shapes is going to be from the top to the bottom. So for shape one, we have one, two, three. My height is going to be three, but for this one down here, one, Two. It only has a height of two. So this parallelogram is smaller than this one. We then look at our two triangles. My first triangle is going to have a base, or both of my triangles it looks like, will have a base of one, two, three, four, five, six. So each triangle has a base of six. That will be the same for both of them. But again, the height it looks like is going to be the difference. My height for both of them, for this top one, 
is going to have a height from the top to the bottom of 1, 2, 3. So my height for this triangle is going to be 3 units. My height for the bottom triangle is going to be 1, 2. So my height for this one is only 2. Again, proving that these are not going to be the same areas, just doubled. All right, let's go ahead and check what number 7 says. Number 7 says, what is the area of the figure? Please show your work. So for this one, we need to find the area of all four of those shapes and then add them together. So let me actually switch to one more different color. We'll switch to purple. So one more, this parallelogram, we do base times height, 4 times 3, which is 12. For this parallelogram, we have base times height, 4 times 2, and that is 8. For this triangle, we have base times height, so 6 times 3, which is 18, divided by 2, because it is a triangle, gives me the area of 9. And for this one, we have base times height, so 6 times 2, which is 12, divided by 2, because it's a triangle, gives me 6. So the area of each piece, so for the 12, we did 4 times 3, which got me 12. We did 4 times 2, which got me 8. We did uh, 3 times 6 divided by 2, and that got me 9. And for the last one, we did 6 times 2 divided by 2, and that gave me 6. I took all of these numbers and I added them. 12 plus 8 plus 9 plus 6. If you take all of this and add it together, that will give you 20, and then 29, and then 35. That would be the area for number 7. Now number 8 is an interesting one. Number 8 is another type of problem that doesn't really have any wrong answers. It just wants you to show a different way that you could cut this shape up and still be able to find the area. You can draw more than one line. So if you recall from that example earlier, Bree and Lisa cut a line going straight side to side. But you could do this a bunch of other ways. If I were the one doing this, then I might have gone ahead and cut lines going up and down. And I would have cut things into multiple triangles uh, so you could cut it into triangles just going up and down like this, up and down like this, and then eh, once more going up and down like this. And then you have one, two, three, four, five triangles and one rectangle. But there's a bunch of different ways that you could go ahead and cut this up. What I want you to do is draw some lines on this shape. See if there's a way that you might decide to cut this shape up when you're trying to find area. And I want you to explain why did you choose to cut it up that way and what would you have to do to find the area if you cut it up the way that you chose to. For example, for me, I would have to say I will need to find the area or find the dimensions and then area of five unique triangles and one rectangle. Then I would have to add them all together and I would have to double check my work since that is a lot of different shapes. That is all for today. Again, I will be checking this to see that it is done when I return. So use this video uh, to double check your work and also use this video to get a head start on question five and question eight because I did not give you an answer, only suggestions. So I will see you guys later.